I thought I was safe and I was wrong. I got tested every day when I walked into the grounds of the White House for the four days that I was doing debate prep with President Trump. Um, I was assured sitting in the third row of the Amy Coney Barrett ceremony, which happened after our first session of debate prep, that everyone in the first three rows had been tested that day and tested negative. I was assured that everybody in debate prep had been tested. And so I took my mask off. I walked, when I get to the gates of the White House, I had my mask on. When I walked through the gates and found out that I had tested negative at the White House medical unit, I took my mask off and I left it off. But only for the time that I was inside those gates. As soon as I left to walk back to my hotel, I put my mask back on immediately kept it on when I was in the hotel lobby, walking down the streets. Um, I only took it off once I got back in my room by myself. I did that for four days out of seven months that we've been going through this pandemic. And three days later, I began to feel what I call the freight train of symptoms that happened with COVID-19. Fever, headaches, incredible body aches, chills, sweats. Um, and it overcame me in a period of 24 hours to where I'd gone from feeling fine and doing my work on a Friday afternoon to by Saturday at one o'clock um, being admitted to the hospital and taken immediately to the intensive care unit where I stayed for the next six and a half days. And during that period of time, I will tell you, it is a frightening experience. I want everybody out there who's listening to understand that this is one of the most unpredictable, random, and brutal viruses you'll ever see. And every day my doctors would come in and tell me, well, things are looking a little bit better or a little bit worse, but we can't guarantee you that within an hour it won't turn significantly worse. And with my history as an asthmatic since I was 13 years old, they were very concerned uh, about how this would go for me. So... My message to the people of Ohio and, and to the people of this country, which is why I did the op-ed, is that there's no place to hide from this virus if you're not going to take this common sense steps that the CDC and the NIH have recommended to us. Wear a mask when you're outside, remain socially distanced from people, no big crowds, and wash your hands frequently. Uh, you know, I came out of this okay. And I'm very fortunate. I still feel some of the symptoms of fatigue, most particularly. And my doctors say I could last for quite some time. But um, I survived. I'm alive. And it very well could have gone the other way. And for 220,000 other Americans, it has. So I just want to urge as many people as I can, don't let your guard down. It's not worth it. I went through it. I made a huge mistake by taking that mask off. And uh, it's something that uh, I hope no other Americans uh, have to go through.